As for right now, every character in Street Fighter V has two choices before the match starts, which V-Skill to use, and which V-Trigger to use. This video will explain both of M. Bison's V-Skills and how you should decide which to pick in different character matchups. Just like many other characters, M. Bison's V-Skill 1, Psycho Reflect, is a way for him to negate fireballs. It is a parry that comes out in 6 frames and has two different reactions, countering a strike and countering a fireball. Countering a fireball will charge Bison's V-Skill, indicated by the flashing yellow eye near the bottom of the screen. This means you will have access to Bison's Fireball, a powerful 2-hit projectile used for high damage combos or pressure situations. You can either hold the V-Skill command and throw it immediately, or hit it later to save the projectile for a better time. It's good to note that multi-hit projectiles like Guile Sonic Cross or Akuma Shakunetsu Adokens will beat the Absorb because Bison can only absorb one hit of a fireball. Gained after launch, Bison also has access to the strike counter. It's pretty context specific, but there are some good times to throw it out if you are confident enough in a move coming out or reacting to a slow heavy normal. On a jump in, it can be easily blocked, but is plus two, allowing you to put in a normal to try to reverse the situation and pressure your opponent. And Bison's V Skill 2 is Hell's Warp. It is a cross up attack that puts him behind the opponent. You can't adjust it at all once you have activated it. What you see is what you get. On hit, it's a launch that has a few follow up, the medium knee press being the best one, although it does have to be timed in order to land both hits. Here's the missed combo, and the properly timed combo. On block, it's plus one, allowing for a frame trap into stand light kick cancelled into light psycho blast. The best times to get it up tend to be on your opponent's wake up. Or to get out of the corner. Here are some other good to know follow ups. Something very important with V-Skill 2 is that some characters can punish it very easily. Guile can punish with Flash Kick on reaction, and Gil can do the same with his parries. Some characters like Balrog are not particularly strong against it, but if you do it raw and your opponent did not commit to something like a fireball, you can be reaction crush counter punches standing, possibly leading to huge damage. Okay, now that we have overviewed the V-Skills, when should each be chosen? V-Skill 1 is best for fireball reliant characters such as Guile or Sagat, and characters with a particularly strong punish for V-Skill 2, thank you for Colleen. Outside of this, it is very good to have for a hard read or to parry jump-ins, which any character has. V-Skill 2 is best against characters that have a hard time against it, such as Balrog or M. Bison, or matchups where a corner escape could be very valuable, such as G or Ken. Generally, I'd say V-Skill 1 is stronger than V-Skill 2, because V-Skill 2 can just be a knowledge check at some times, but it is valuable to be familiar with both. Thanks for watching!